Well, Davos sees the involvement of several Indian industrial leaders. The goal over here is not just to seek investment, but also to get an idea of where the global economy is going. A lot of the ideas which are discussed over here actually do ultimately translate into something substantial on the ground. One of India's biggest uh, industrial groups is the, the Kalyani Group. Uh, besides uh, their work, uh, besides their work in 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 forging, uh, they are now uh, very actively involved in the defense sector and Amit Kalyani joins us now for more on this. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So, you know, I mean, the fact that you are now contributing in such a major way to the Indian Army when it comes to artillery gun systems, how is that a huge step forward for your company, which is, you know, sort of defined forging in India? So, um, you know, it, it fits right into our core competence of manufacturing metallurgical products. Um, uh, artillery gun is made up of a large number of uh, you know, high-end steel forged and yeah. machine products. Yeah. It's something that we know how to do, we do well. Yeah. And what we've done is basically an application engineering of our core technology and knowledge into a product that the country needs. Right. And uh, it's also for the first time that there's been an industry uh, government partnership with DRDO in developing this. DRDO was a design partner with a manufacturing partner along yeah. with the Tatas. And uh, the product has gone through complete uh, testing, including the final testing with the customer. Uh, in Pokhran, which, which you excelled in. Which we classed with flying colors, yeah. thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. And hopefully this now paves the way for the entry of a made in India, world class, world beating product in uh, the Indian Army and then so allows us to yeah. also export these yeah, products yeah, outside. Yeah. Let's talk about the gun itself. It yeah. outranges any other gun yes. in the world of its class. It's got an all-electric drive. Yes. Um, there were concerns about its weight, yes. but you're working towards that. But the firepower that it affords, actually I can write a thesis on this gun. But anyway, I'm so let me, glad you I, studied <laughs> it. <laughs> but, but tell me, wh what does this qualitatively mean for the Indian Army? So, uh, let me just address the weight yeah, issue. Yeah. The weight issue is a concern when you have two wheels. On yeah. four wheels, yeah. the weight is distributed across right. two axles, so it's far lighter. I um, mean, it's less yeah. weight yeah. per yeah. axle. Yeah. It's more maneuverable. It yeah. has more uh, fail safes. Right. You know, you get one something happens with one axle, it can still right. drive. Right. It can move on its own without a prime mover right. up to 25 to 30 kilometers an hour for yeah. up to 50 yeah. kilometers. Right. So it gives you a lot of advantages. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why it was designed this way. And uh, the all-electric drive also yeah. allows you yeah. to run, yeah. uh, fire the gun mm. without starting the engine, so mm. you don't have a heat signature. Mm. So there are many, many advantages. Five rounds a minute, right? Six rounds a minute. And you can fire in zone 7, which right. is no other gun in the world has been right. designed to fire in zone right. 7. But I think besides that, it will give the Indian forces yeah. the confidence that they have a product which is made in India, made for them and can be modified for their needs and tested and tested massively. but and please also understand that yeah. we're at the beginning of the exploitation cycle of this product that means for the next 10 to 15 years we can keep upgrading this product right now it's a 155 52 it yeah. can become a 155 55 right 155 58 which will right. enhance its range even further right. let's and talk about shells though how dependent on you are you as a gun manufacturer on world-class quality shells being manufactured in India the so gun look, itself is not enough. We are not uh, the user. Yeah. The shell is actually the issue of the user yeah. because they are going to fire yeah. it. But of course, our product is only as good as what you put through it. Correct. Okay, so obviously, and I think everybody in the system is uh, well recognizing this fact. And it's not rocket science. I'm sure we can easily do this. Right. And it's, it's a question of quality. It's a question of quality. It's a question of systems and processes and yeah. this will happen. But you know, what uh, really interests me about about your group and your foray into defense is that this exemplifies Atma Nirbhata in defense, right? It's not, it's not just import substitution, no. it's not just political rhetoric, no. it's actual Indians working on an Indian gun system using technology which you have f literally forged for decades. And, yeah. and making something that's the best in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to give compliments to DRDO and to all the people yeah. involved in this uh, program yeah. because they really thought out of the box yeah. didn't take something and modify it and make it for the Indian market right. but really ab initio and we've worked with them closely from the beginning yeah. of the program yeah. and it's a matter of great pride that we've now reached here it's yeah. been a trial by fire yeah. but I think we've reached the you know the, let's say the light at the end of the tunnel is yeah. visible yeah. and I hope that this will really boost the morale of the system yeah. to say that we now have 
at least something we can rely on which is made in India and right. will help us going forward. Let's also talk about high mobility uh, vehicles, yeah. um, you know, what you're developing for use for the Indian Army, which has also been tested in the Ladakh region. Yes. Uh, Four-wheel drive vehicles, which are heavily armored, yes. uh, can carry up to, what, 10 soldiers, ten I believe, soldiers. right? And they are Stanag level 3, including uh, under hull and side blast yeah. of 50 kilograms. Yeah. And a side blast of 50 kilogram is pretty substantial. Yeah. And uh, I think the whole doctrine in terms of transporting troops has changed yeah. from transporting 40, 50 troops right, at a time right. to, you know, a much smaller number yeah. because it reduces risk. Yeah. And uh, I think that's how it's practiced worldwide and we're yeah. moving towards that. Right. Uh, I think the fact is that uh, you, you're seeing a dramatic change in the way assets are used. Yeah. 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 So I think that's, that's another product which we're already producing and supplying. We've already shipped. I think uh, you've received orders. Right? Yeah, we've received orders. We've shipped also. How you many know? orders have you received so far? I think 36 plus 1854. Right, so with an initial yeah. order which has yeah. been yeah. placed. Yeah. And the the system itself can be upgraded. I mean, it can be weaponized in a very big way. Oh yeah, it has a turret which you can put on it, which can carry an LMG, mm -hmm. which can have you know multiple different right. things, right. and you can operate it by sitting inside right. with a remote control weapon right. session. Right. Okay. Uh, last couple of questions. What are some of the other key defense technologies that you're going to be looking at, or are you going to just keep on working with uh, some of the key technologies which you've already developed? So look, I don't think we are going to try to do everything for everyone. Our focus is in, uh, you know, things which are, uh, where our core competence is yeah. used. So, you know, in things which are uh, land system based, artillery based, uh, we have multiple new artillery yeah. platforms. We have a small yeah. light artillery platform also, which is a 105 yeah. mounted on a truck, yeah. which is our yeah. own yeah. ultra light uh, product, which yeah. is uh, one which we have yes. got. Yes. Then we've got a MGS, which is a mounted mm -hmm. gun system, mm -hmm. 155, uh, uh, 45 and 155, right. 52 yeah. mounted on our own vehicle right. which is right. a 6x6, six six. Right. again a good product. So we have these products and then some others that we are working on. Right. Excellent. Well, it's been wonderful speaking to you and it's great to hear from a defense manufacturer, you know, an Indian defense manufacturer talking about state of the art. Uh, that sure. really helps uh, a great deal in terms of where we are going with our defense and I hope things work out over here for you in your talks in Davos. Thank you very much.